uh, an animal really has to change its behavior in order to be a good parent, uh, especially mammals, and that's what we're focusing on. So our laboratory work features maternal rats. The maternal rat has up to 14 pups, so she really needs to hit the ground running and be a good mom from the beginning, and the brain has prepared her to do that. We've been interested not only in the uh, maternal behavior on the nest, but also what, how efficient they are with their foraging and emotional regulation off the nest. And we found, have found some interesting differences so that she can divert more of her energy toward this huge genetic investment that, uh, in, with her pops. And we're an equal opportunity lab, uh, so some of my students have also asked about the dads. So we also look at paternal behavior, but you have to be careful with mammals because only about 5% of mammals are paternal. So rats are not, that's a single mom model, but we have done uh, some work with the Paramiscus uh, californicus, the California deer mouse, and those males engage in all the parenting behaviors that the moms do, uh, except for lactation and giving birth. Um, we also here at the Demond Conservancy study the owl monkeys, and the owl monkeys uh, are wonderful dads, um, and we have found that with the, da the um, paternal mice and with the owl monkey dads, that we see some of the changes, very similar changes that we see in our rodent moms. So parenting in itself seems to change the brain in very interesting ways to allow the parents to take better care of their offspring. We're also very interested in coping and resilience. It's just hard to get through life without stress. And if we can cope with that stress effectively, it will hopefully keep us from experiencing some of the some psychiatric illnesses and keep us healthy throughout our lives. So we use the rodent models uh, to study um, effective coping strategies. The rats tell us that being flexible in coping is very adaptive. We also train them on some uh, behavioral therapies where they interact with the environment more using their paws to dig up rewards. Our rats love Fruit Loop rewards, so they'll work pretty hard for that. Uh, and we've extended that work in the laboratory to, to nature again, to the field, uh, to study wild raccoons. And the raccoons have these wonderful forepaws, similar to our hands, which are great tools for interacting with the environment. Um, and so we're working with wildlife ecologists to study their behavior in the field. And also when we can get our hands on a raccoon brain, we're amazed at how complex those brains are. They look like a small primate brain which probably explains why they're taking over the world and it's so hard to keep them out of our garbage cans.